The president ordering more extreme vetting following the terror attack, New York City's deadliest one since 9-11. Our next guest has interrogated radical Islamic terrorists face to face and warns our PC culture is putting us in danger for more of them. Former CIA interrogator Dr. James Mitchell is the author of Enhanced Interrogation and helped the CIA put together its program. He joins us now to explain. Uh, good to see you as always, Dr. Mitchell. Unfortunately, it is always in circumstances like these. Uh, let's get right to it. Explain how the PC culture is to blame for what happened yesterday. Can you hear us, Dr. Mitchell? I think we're hearing Fox Business. Oh, he's hearing Fox Business. He okay. Um, all right. I have to get back to him we'll in a little back. bit. But, you know, he's just one of the many guests that we have on here this morning uh, who, to talk about, you know, everything that he's dealt with, that he's seen in, in talking to some of these people face to face, the experiences that he's had and why we're not doing enough in this country right now because of that PC culture. And what gets so disappointing is that it seems like you're in a situation where we have Dr. Mitchell on, mm -hmm. we have Aaron Cohen on after all these things, and, and we ask them the same questions. And you hope at some point we get some of these changes. Uh, let's go back to Dr. Mitchell now. Um, we have him on the line. Do you hear us, Dr. Mitchell? I can hear you fine, thanks. All right, let's get right to that question again. Explain how our PC culture is to blame for what we saw yesterday. Well, I think we're working on the wrong end of the radicalization pipeline. We're playing whack-a-mole as people are being radicalized and trying to catch them, but we're allowing into our country the violent ideology and the people who are susceptible to responding to that ideology. You know, the, the, the core problem lies at the way that the current versions of the Quran and the Hadith and the violence that are in that are accepted as being the the true word of Allah passed down unerringly, and our PC culture prevents us from challenging that. Our PC culture also prevents us from doing the kind of vetting that needs to be done to stop both that ideology and the people getting into our country. And then finally, our PC culture uh, prevents us from being able to surveil and monitor. You know, there's a uh, there's an NSA, uh, sunset, it's called 702, that's gonna sunset in December. It, imagine that there are three terrorists. Terrorist one is talking to terrorist two about terrorist three. We can no longer collect that information. There are groups in the United States and Congress people in the United States who want to severely cut back on the amount of information that we can collect. Dr. Mitchell, College, you... let, me, let me make one more point. Sure. College Sheikh Mohammed told me that our PC, our political correctness and our tolerance and our religious freedom really acted like a cloaking device that allowed them to enter our country and put in place the mechanisms to attack us without us ever doing anything about it. Okay, so, so in your opinion, give us some specifics. You talk about better vetting. What, in your opinion, needs to be done? What lengths do we need to go to? Well, in terms, of, in terms of vetting, I think what we should do is not let people in who answer questions that suggest that they're susceptible to this violent ideology. If you look at the Pew polls and other polls that have been done that have looked at the ideology, you'll see that in some cases, 50, 60, 70 percent of of uh, some uh, versions of Islam endorse the idea that people should be stoned or apostates should be killed or that Jews should be ran off the earth. I don't think we should be letting those people in our country because they're susceptible to the ideology. The other thing that happens, and we haven't really said it, is that ISIS has been very successful at setting up a virtual caliphate. We're going to uh, attack them in, in their homeland in Syria where they've tried to set it up. But that's not where the danger is. The danger is on the internet. And what we should be doing is hunting down the people who are funding that and making them pay for this. Yeah, Dr. Mitchell, let's build upon that because if you listen to news reports, we're doing very well overseas against ISIS. But that has yes. negative ramifications here, quite frankly. Um, how do we bridge the gap there so that we're both successful overseas and then that translates to protecting our homeland? 
It's a generational war. The problem is, again, we're working at the wrong end of that pipeline. We have to realize that we got to hunt down, find, kill, try, put in jail, all those people in a defensive way. But at the other end of that pipeline, you have to instill American values into those people that we're raising. You can't raise a generation of people and tell them that America is a horrible outlaw that's doing terrible things to the world and expect them not to be susceptible to this other ideology. We, we have to start stopping the importing of that ideology. Right. It, we have to quit allowing radical mosques to be allowed built, to be built, and we have to stop allowing those people in the Middle East who are trying to conquer the world by pushing their ideology out into Western democracies, we have to stop them from doing that. Otherwise, we're just going to continue to do this for generations and generations, and they will eventually beat us. And continue to have this conversation. That's another thing, too. Dr. James Mitchell, thank you so much thank for joining sir. us this morning.